Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Settlers League 3.25. In this episode, uh, another build update. So, uh, last video, we just got this new insane Ami. You should definitely check out that vid of how we did this Ami. But, uh, so yeah, we upgraded that. But then, uh, the main things of this video are, uh, I want to talk about the Spectre change, uh, some... AG changes, clusters, enchants, etc. Um, the Ami, of course. But uh, first, I wanted to go with the enchants. It's pretty quick, but basically, these like really expensive uh, torment enchants instead of the minion damage through uh, runesmithing. The minion damage is great, but when you can afford it with the wand and the power runes, it's like. It was like 100 D per or something crazy, and they had like the good bases. Uh, this gives the 35 move speed plus a bunch of other stuff. Cast speed for the faster opening of chests with the unearth and the spell caster mastery uh, to open nearby chests. And yeah, this haunted mod is really good. Uh, it also does like random spirit effects, um, but they're really expensive. And so the 35, 39 minion damage you can get is good enough um, until you want to get the extra like change minion damage for move speed uh, and it's mainly for the move speed and it's delayed but then um the clusters so i had uh elite like lightning and cold res as the suffix it only was seven and it goes up to like nine with the increased effect uh when you do the four percent le res and you get it increased it's five percent which technically for two le mental reses it's ten percent so it's actually higher than just the nine percent uh, and then i also get the extra fire so yeah le res is a better suffix so uh i got that and this one i bought them both and then it's funny when you have uh un fractured jewels you can take them to your hideout and use the horticrafting station so harvest and you're able to um add a synthesis mod so i rolled them synthesis and got life and life and i could re-roll this with a vivid vulture and um the bestiary but I, yeah, having unfractured perfect jewels is insane because <laughs> it's pretty hard to craft these, and I didn't do it. I bought them, um, so that was really sick, and then that's a benefit of not using a fracture. And then, uh, so the, yeah, these clusters are sick. I get more res, and then my reses uh, look like this. Uh, it's really high right now. And then uh, with the amulet... Uh, I got 500 life, so it was like a thousand life. I went from 3,800 to like 4,800. It was crazy. So then, uh, I repath the tree, and so instead of going this way through this life and stuff, you can actually go this way one point, um, and then you just get your suppress. And uh, instead of this life, um, I could grab this and this, and it's like similar. Uh, I guess also actually if I instead of the ES I could go for the extra mana um, It's the same amount of life, but yeah, and then Sorry about that And then so yeah, I still got the turtle so we're at 90 uh, reduced extra uh, crit damage reduction which technically you don't need 100 you don't need to be fully crit immune it's just that when you actually get crit now i only take 10 percent of the crit damage which is really sick um so getting like it to not one shot you yeah to not have a huge impact and not having a huge multiplier because it's like 90 less of crit basically is the way to think of it yeah really good and then uh the, so I have to talk about these links. <laughs> so I changed some stuff, and I have to talk about the Chaos Golem. But first off, uh, Determination, Purity of Fire, Vitality, with an Enlighten. Um, so just a normal Enlighten setup. Uh, these are the auras that are the most expensive, besides Guardian Blessing, making the Grace free. Uh, and another small thing was... Uh, yeah, so I'm Purity of Fire, Melding... And the Ruby Flask, so we get 90 Elemental Res. Uh, we're actually technically at like 95, but then it goes to the minus 4, so it's 91. And I have an extra 2 max fire here, 2 max fire on the boot implicit. That's with Eldritch Currency, the Searing Exarch, Exquisite. And uh, yeah, the Purity of Fire is really sick. And then 24k armor... 
I put Vitality back in over the Arctic Armor because I like the regen, especially uh, I was doing Uber Maven and I couldn't tank the ground degen without the Vitality. So yeah, and the Arctic Armor was basically useless in that fight legitimately. So then I was like, fuck this, I want Vitality back. And then yeah, we put it with an Enlighten. We made a lot of changes. That's why we're going over all of it. Um, and then you might go, where's the carry on golem? Yeah, we gotta get to that too. Um, but for now, chaos golem, the other one, got four extra levels because of the ammy. So my old ammy was... <laughs> Where is it? Uh, plus four, minus four chaos, and then plus four endurance. So the minus four chaos was actually minus four on this. So now when it gets to level 30, the chaos golem gets six fizz damage reduction. It's a break point uh, instead of 5%. So he gets an extra one, but then he actually has like a hundred golem buff effect because of the buff effect on him from the gem plus the 80% from the tree. So he's a hundred percent. So then another 6%, well, it'd be another 1%. So I got 2% golem buff effect. I mean, sorry, physical damage reduction, uh, with the Ami upgrade as well on top of it. So you small, and then the chaos golem also went to, 117k life which is pretty sick and then people ask about this does duration help him uh he does an ability where the chaos golem casts a damage over time chaos aura and this thing says it lasts five seconds and it has an eight second cooldown so if you made it last 50 percent more then it would be like two and a half and so it'd be like 7.5 and it has an eight second cooldown so it's almost 100 percent uptime and it, technic it technically does some good damage, so yep, it helps, and I don't know what else I would support the more duration with, and the reason why this is a 3 link is because automation, phase run, more duration, and then like, the fact that I can do the 4 link, and there's a benefit, why not? No other 4 link really right now. Uh, this is a 3 link, I have no benefit other than like buffing the Grace or the Stone Golem, I chose to buff the Chaos Golem, and which we'll get into the Chaos Golem in a second, uh, just my Flame Dash, my 2 link, uh, Immortal Call, cast, uh, cast and Damage Taken setup. So then... Uh, I, I changed to Chaos Golem. Uh, long story short, I was seeing, I was playtesting Carry On and seeing if I wanted to play it more this season. And then uh, off of that, I decided, well, uh, Chaos Golem was Pog, and uh, now we have a level 31. And so you can use the hordes. And so with hordes it's just a plus two of whichever hordes one you use uh to the max so uh, we get an extra two just like the two carry on we could do two chaos it's the same thing but then i don't use multi and uh i put feeding frenzy in here with withering touch and the specter so then uh we we lost the multi but then i moved the feeding frenzy from the stone golem so it's more consistent it's always up now because the feeding frenzy was only a chance on hit and i'm noticing that the stone golem is just like delayed to get to things or just not hitting fast enough it's it's not hitting enough enemies because it's not doing its aoe because it's not doing the it doesn't have multi strike and uh it's only one stone golem and then like imagine it's also your guardian's blessing and if it dies then you also lost your feeding frenzy it was like kind of a big deal and then yeah uh multi would he this thing uses a cascade and the chaos aura and and does default attack but it's not really the main thing about the chaos golem the fact that it does it too is really sick though so even while it has its cooldowns it's still doing something and it's actually strong and then stacking wither and stuff but the wither shouldn't stack on the chaos aura um and then the specter change so uh i was using well this is the perfect dark reaper still using it uh, still using two Carnage Chieftains. Basically, the only change is uh, the Perfect Forest Warrior is kind of like Theof Tool. Um, you notice that it's when it's doing its crazy ability, it's actually pretty heavy uh, on the FPS. And you're just like, eh, I, you know, he's really good. Culling, Onslaught, insane ability. But then I thought, man, imagine if you made a build of nine of them and how laggy it would be. But uh, then I was like, I don't really want to have that kind of weight from a Spectre, even like for that value. So I put in a host chieftain for the power charges. And with these wands that we had made too, uh, so I, I think I'll talk about the wands even. Um, when with the enchants, uh, I lowered the minion damage in my build and I went to this wand. And I have to talk about it. So basically, 
uh, my goal was 860 minion damage at least, uh, so that I could swap to this without the 109 minion damage one with the double damage one. This is from the temple. So technically you could have this mod fractured and you could have 66 minion damage with a 5% double damage and then craft the plus two. And so uh, when I was eight, over 860 without the extra 40 from the uh, 109, I swapped to this and then uh, I got crit mods and that's where I was going with this. So uh, I have 26 on this and another 36. So that's 62. And they have the base like 30 or something. So 92 uh, crit multi and with the power charges. So if they if it's stacked up off the one power charge, uh, you could get 150 crit strike chains. So that if they have five base crit, it could be like seven and a half crit. And so it's basically seven and a half of uh, percent of the 90, 92. So... It's some nice extra damage uh, to use the host chieftains. It won't affect the explode, but uh, for general damage, it's actually fine and good, and uh, is comparable against like culling and whatnot. If if you actually stack the power charges, and then you also get like more of the when you crit, it's big crit multi, which is and as long as you don't hit the the crit mod that reduces your crit, you, it's actually useful. So. Uh, that was the overall the host chieftain still good that's my point if you have crit multi and then like technically with that like you can go like all oh, gray go crazy and you know use the marks and the brittle and they go you know go all out on it but yeah yep <laughs> this is just how much i've done of crit and i actually uh still put in host chieftains uh, I was even thinking, like, what would you run? How would I run no monkeys anyways? Like, how would I run it? You'd have to be, like, tigers, and then I'm blind, literally. It's like, I go blind. So then, um, yeah, the huge crit multi was the diff there on that. And uh, I think if you guys aren't experiencing the issues that I'm having with the Spectre and you love that Forest Warrior, then continue to use it, and uh, don't worry about what I said. True. <laughs> But yeah, this Enlighten saved us the mana on these auras so that we didn't need the extra reservation here. And like the repathing, um, just giving up percent life when I gained so much and I still have 700 more than I had and I wasn't really dying with 3,800. So I'm not dying with the 4,500 with my T16 strat with the, with these scarabs, the, you know, the strat with, with double pan Pantheon. Uh, with 3,800, I was dying every now and then to the Pantheon, but now, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so then the final thing is uh, I'm actually a Quartz Flask for my phasing and my Suppress now. And we have this Watcher's Eye for the Suppress and the Determination Fizz Damage Reduction. And I should definitely divine this for the 8%. But uh, yeah, because I could get an extra 1% there as well, like how I got the 2% from the Chaos Golem. Every little bit is adding up. And uh, I only need 13 suppress, I think, from this because I already have like 101. So I don't have to roll it perfect, which is uh, saves me divines. And then, uh, yeah, we did that. That uh, And the reason to do the quartz flask is so that you don't have to use the anoint on inveterate because Inveter and, and the watcher's eye mod of the phasing. Uh, you save a whole Watcher's Eye mod, which then we were able to get the cheaper one, which is Grace Determination. And I got an extra Purity of Fire Burning Ground mod, which was bonus, uh, because it was the price of the other two, trust me. And, um, yeah, the phasing mod is, uh, if, if I, yeah, the, makes the flash really powerful if you think about it. Especially not needing a Watcher's Eye, and then when everyone has to copy it and everything, yeah. So then, um... The suppress saves my anoint as well, and the anoint in our build, when you get a jewel like this, which you could do it on any of these, it doesn't have to be a three pointer like this. It could be this one, this one, this one, this one. This is a four, but you anoint it. So like this is a four, but you anoint it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it doesn't matter. And so eighty minion damage for a point <laughs> in the anoint. Um, yeah. So it's like if you could get. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. Think about. Think about Flask giving you minion damage, okay? Just like, you know, it's pretty good, right? And especially when we have 900, uh, 80 is quite a lot, right? 
Especially when you end up giving away minion damage on the enchants and the wand for the double damage, and uh, you end up doing the damage, the minion damage through these sources. <laughs> so then it's a two forty minion damage uh, timeless jewel. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, and uh, I think that is all of the stuff, all the explanations. Oh, one more thing. The zombies got to 40 because I did my own Awaken and Power, which uh, I could put the clips in. Uh, I had, yeah, Awaken and Power, I did it myself, took four tries. Uh, but it was actually like my first one or second one that got it, and then I did four anyways. But uh, easy. And then he gets the plus one from the chest, and the, the chest is basically a plus four. So then this gives a plus five, and the... Plus four amy level 40 max level raise zombie sliming again and this time it's without the um doriani what was the chest diala's malefaction what the fuck i said <laughs> you know diala's malefaction had a plus eight diala's so same mods and then the chest also has plus two socketed so then with the empower yeah there's so many so many levels but uh Still level 40 without it because of the ammy. It's insane. And, uh... <laughs> holy. Level 40. And then you wonder how much health. Uh, 68k, and that's with uh, Wake Minion damage, where they get the 25 less, which is a huge amount less. And I do this is a zombie slamming, so it doesn't have the more life. But, uh... We get the slam and the, the big CDR and the AoE. <laughs> insane. Insane damage. Well, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, build update. Uh, lots of stuff. <laughs> uh, lots of stuff to explain. And yeah, lots of changes. So I hope you guys have enjoyed everything. I hope it helps you. I uh, hope you try a lot of the stuff I've done. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for hanging out, though. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.